You won't believe this. What if I told you that some of the deepest concepts in quantum physics were already known? Thousands of years ago? Not in labs, but in the Vedas. Yes, the ancient scriptures of India. In today's video, we'll explore what modern scientists are discovering, and how ancient Indian rishis might have already known it all, in poetic verses written over 5,000 years ago. This is not about blind belief. It's about connecting the dots. Welcome to the mystery of Vedas and quantum physics. Before we dive into the science, let's understand what the Vedas are. The Vedas are the oldest known texts in the history of mankind. They are not religious books in the way we define religion today. They're more like knowledge manuals, covering astronomy, medicine, mathematics, philosophy, consciousness, and yes, even physics. The word Veda literally means knowledge. They were not written by one author. They were revealed to sages in deep states of meditation, almost like tuning into a frequency beyond time. In the 20th century, science hit a wall. Classical physics, Newton's laws, couldn't explain everything. So we entered the realm of the quantum, the world of the very small. Here, things get weird. Particles exist in two places at once. Observation changes reality. Empty space is not empty. Time isn't linear. Famous physicists like Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, and even Albert Einstein were shocked by what they found. But here's the twist. Some of these bizarre quantum truths were already described in the Vedas and Upanishads. Let's look at some mind-blowing examples. 1. Observer Effect Quantum physics says that the observer affects the observed. Particles behave differently when watched. The Vedas say, Drashta Bhava, the observer is not separate from the observed. In Advaita Vedanta, it's clear, the seer and the seen are one. 2. Wave-particle duality Quantum objects like light behave as both waves and particles. The Rig Veda describes light as having a duality, as energy and matter. One verse even calls light rhythm, which means rhythm, hinting at wave nature. 3. Non-locality Quantum entanglement shows that two particles can affect each other across space instantly. The Upanishads say, the whole universe is pervaded by the same consciousness. In other words, everything is connected at a deeper level. 4. Time is relative Einstein shocked the world with relativity. Time is not absolute. But the Bhagavad Gita already said, For one who has transcended the gunas, time does not bind him. In yogic states, rishis described traveling across space and time. Could they have experienced relativity internally? 5. Consciousness creates reality. This is the heart of quantum theory today. That consciousness may shape matter. The Mandukya Upanishad describes the universe as arising from pure awareness, not the other way around. So, were the Vedas describing a conscious universe millennia before science? You may ask, okay, but do scientists take this seriously? Here's the surprising part. Many do. Dr. Oppenheimer, father of the atomic bomb, said after reading the Gita, In it, I found answers that modern science is still searching for. Erwin Schrödinger, the founder of wave mechanics, said, The unity and continuity of Vedanta are reflected in quantum theory. Nikola Tesla was deeply influenced by Swami Vivekananda, who explained Akasha and Prana as forces of the universe. Even today, quantum scientists are turning toward consciousness to solve the puzzle. Some even propose that the universe is a simulation, a projection of awareness, very similar to the concept of Maya in Vedic philosophy. So, science is slowly beginning to catch up. Now, this is not about saying Vedas are better than science or science proves religion. No, 
This is about realizing that ancient civilizations may have had insights beyond instruments through inner exploration. In the West, knowledge came from outside, telescopes, labs, equations. In India, knowledge came from within, dhyana, meditation, tapasya. Maybe it's time both worlds meet. Maybe true understanding lies in combining external science with inner wisdom. So, the next time you hear someone say, Vedas are just mythology, remember, quantum physics might disagree. And as we continue exploring black holes, dark matter, and parallel universes, we might just find that the answers were always within. Just as the Vedas said, as is the atom, so is the universe. As is the microcosm, so is the macrocosm. As is the human body, so is the cosmic body. If this blew your mind, like this video, subscribe for more insights from India's rich legacy. Do you think Vedas had access to quantum-level knowledge? Let's discuss.